Well, an ongoing issue in the city of Jamestown has sparked a public outcry as frustrations are growing high. Many feel their voices are not being heard now. Our Alyssa Wright has more on the firefighter debate. I just want to remind everyone that government is not a business. Financial is very important, but it's not everything, especially when we're given three years for city council to figure out how to either afford these firefighters or decide what needs to happen after that. Regular everyday citizens are not to decide what services need to be cut. And we all want a safer Jamestown. City Council President Dolch assures the public that this matter is a work in progress. The, the timeline is we have the, tonight's work session. Uh, it was on the agenda for finance. We'll briefly discuss that if there's any questions that come up. Uh, we have another work session next Monday. And then on Tuesday, uh, we will be calling a special meeting. The council president wants to make sure that all bases are covered before committing to a final decision. The council had put together a list of concerns and questions about the grant that they submitted to FEMA. FEMA then is compiling that. We're going to meet with them next Tuesday via Zoom here at 4 p.m. Uh, in the mayor's conference room. Uh, to They're going to address our questions and then if there's other additional questions that the council has so that you know, we can kind of uh, you know, get all the answers before we make a decision. In the end, many pledge to continue fighting for a safer Jamestown. Our message has been clear and simple. We've been understaffed for many years and the demand for service continues to increase every year. And we'll continue to advocate for a safer Jamestown for our citizens and our firefighters. The city will be distributing notices for Tuesday's special meeting and invites the public to continue to share their concerns. Anyone with questions is advised to contact their city council representative. Alyssa Wright, WNY News Now.